what I will talk about now is artifacts. When you have this uh, scanning uh, machine, uh, uh, the first problem that occurs is I told you in the scanning tunneling lecture that uh, we use this piezoelectric uh, ceramics to control the motion of this. And there's one drawback with using piezoelectric ceramics, and that is because is that it has a history to it. For example, if I if I use this piezoelectric to, to move my probe here, I can ha have this as a reference point. I have this here, and then I move the probe over here, and then I move it back again at the same same amount as as I moved in that direction. Then the tip will only go here, so there will be a small offset here. So it has a memory effect depending on what I have done previously to the tip. And then I need to compensate for that. And that means if I scan an image like this, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, each and every second line will be have an offset. Uh, and that's why it is very very common that you see in in these uh, scanned images from this microscope that you have what's called the forward and backward scan and in the forward and backward scan you take the lines that only goes in one direction so this first line will be in the forward direction then we scan backwards we put that in the backward image and then the second line we scan in the forward image and then we go back backward image so we go forward and backward on the same track and then we change position forward and backward on the same track forward and backward and then then make this offset in the in the orthogonal direction so then we get rid of this this uh, artifact of the pizza the second artifact that you can have is uh, is uh, <laughs> the tips influence on the sample itself Let's say that you have a particle on the surface, and this uh, pile of paper is our particle. If this is a small particle that's loose, then you scan this, you start come up to it, and then, oh. <laughs> then you scan this, you come here, and then it follows along because you pushes it with the tip, and then it perhaps slides over. So then you see that the particle was, uh, when I scan, during this pushing, the interpreted image of that will be a long particle. It will look uh, uh, oval in shape here. And then if I scan again, scan the same image again, I will push it a little bit further. And then the position of the particle has changed in the image. And this, of course, you can take into adva in the advantage. And then this is the technique that you use when you move around atoms. Uh, it's been uh, studies that we have created that. And uh, but this is it can be a problem, right? If these particles is pushed around with the probe, sort of have a you, you destroys your sample by doing that. Uh, the second problem that can arise is that you scan the surface like this, and then a small piece of the sample is. Uh, let's see if this is possible. Like this. Like this. After you're scanned for a while, a small piece might get stuck onto the tip like this. And that means that now when I scan, a part of this will start to have interaction with the sample. So this uh, obstacle here, this uh, debris, will inter interfere with my measurement. And this means that the tip's geometry here has changed. And then, then I will map a different contour than wha what I was doing in the beginning. And, and this is uh, very apparent if, for example, the debris is uh, placed in such a position that you get sort so of something like this. So you get two tips. Then the first one will scan the object, and then the second tip will scan the object. So then you get doublets uh, or ghost images in, in, your, in your final image. And because you sort of scan the surface with two tips. Uh, Another problem that you can have is that, uh, let's say you have a very, very sharp object in, in the substrate. Oh, 
like this. Here I have a sh very sharp thing on the substrate. And then I have my very big tip. And then I come here and start scanning. Then you see when the tip comes close here, it goes over here. And what actually is happening here is that it follows the contour of the tip. Right? You see? So <laughs> in the image, what we will see then is an image of how the tip looks like. Not this small needle. So that is also an artifact. It is also apparent if you have the, this hole, for example, then the tip will not, cannot penetrate down to it. It will only go a very little into it and then go over. So then you, you will see a much shallower pit here than in, that was in the real case. Uh, there is also the... You have this control unit that controls uh, uh, how it operates and how it should, uh, how fast it should uh, follows the contours of the surface. I mean, this is a regulating uh, theory around this. And uh, the, if if that has been uh, misconfigured, then you can get all kind of artifacts due to that. One thing, for example, is that when you go over like this, it can start to have a vibration uh, noise effect afterwards, like this. And then it creates ripples. So you see ripples in images when you go across a, a, a sharp edge. And that, of course, doesn't exist in, in reality. It's not it's something that you created due to wrong configuration. Uh, another thing is that if you're too slow, the tip might go like this, and then it will get stuck like this, and then comes over. So, and then when after, it is very slow in compensating, so it will take a very long time before it comes down again. And that means in the final image, the contour of this will be sort of like a whale. It has a steep curve here, and then it will smoothen out into a slide. And that you can discover if you check in the backward scan image, because it, when you scan backwards, you will have the same effect, but the reversed case. So here you will see some sharp edges. And then you will see some smooth slide down here. So if you have in forward direction a smooth slide on this side and in the backward direction you have a smooth contour on this side, then you know that you haven't set the regulating parameters correctly. All right, that, that was uh, a little bit about atomic force microscopy. Now I want you to do a complex problem around this and uh, the complex problem today I think it's a little bit easier than the rest of the complex problems I've given out. Uh, this time I want you to construct a device uh, that sort of looks like this uh, uh, with uh, a tip and with this, this cantilever and then you choose this, uh, uh, a small object on the, on the, on the bench that uh, I have shown here. And then you draw the contour that you will have when you scan the surface with your particular tip. And uh, I want you to, to, to draw different uh, cases. Uh, one is uh, when everything is okay. And one, for example, if you have a double tip that, uh, due to contamination, how will that look like? And uh, you can, uh, for example, also show uh, if you have a, a small object on the small sharp uh, uh, obstacles on the surface or, or, or pits uh, in, in the holes in the surfaces uh, or sharp edges and draw what the effect will be with your tip. And uh, the idea here that I want you to investigate is that you choose your own bottle or whatever you have as a tip, a ball or take whatever you want and describe how that will influence the scanned image that you will get. Uh, I gave you more uh, information about this as, as regular below. So then that was it. Uh, see you on the next chapter.